everybody. Thanks for joining us. And today we talk about very important topic. Actually, it's going to be evolution and development uh, in the tools that we use in the piano restoration. Specifically, I talk about stringing station. On one of my videos, I show a stringing station that I built uh, probably like 15 years ago. And uh, I got a very good response from piano technicians and other people. They like to uh, have this tool and I want to encourage them to build one. And what's happened, I got a lot of calls and people interesting uh, in uh, some uh, approach how to build it. And some already start to build them and I have uh, the obligation to show them how I develop uh, this tool. Uh, it was not from the first uh, shot. I built several tools before. That's why you can see how gradually you can approach uh, to build the perfect one. And of course, it's definitely help you uh, in the process of building. Uh, our conversation, we have here our creative uh, director, Catherine, and we uh, figure out to make it like in a type of interview that uh, Catherine asked me questions and I try to uh, answer them. And in this case, we not lose uh, some very important things. Uh, thank you, Catherine. Hello, um, it's a pleasure to be here. And uh, my first question would be as with any uh, invention, uh, and I believe that is truly is an invention because I haven't seen anything like this on the market before. What had sparked uh, you to uh, start making this tool? Uh, you know, uh, of course, everything in the piano restoration is a time consuming. Uh, you need uh, certain skills uh, to do it. Uh, but stringing it's a special, it's a very important part. First, uh, you have to use the proper way. And uh, through my experience, and probably other people know, that for professional use, you can uh, use only wires that in uh, big coils. Why it's so? Because uh, otherwise, in a small diameter, you damage the wire. And of course, uh, in the industry, technicians use uh, the smaller coils uh, but in an, for an emergency, but no way for professional use. In this case, you have to uh, deal with the heavy coils. Uh, in the industry, they got like five pounds, eight pounds, and uh, since you got so like 10, 15 different diameters, it's pretty heavy. And of course, in order to organize them, you need a certain storage, certain cabinet. But the, the critical things that they get us, uh, get us uh, in this you know, type of coils, and you see it's a three hooks here. And you, in order for you to get the wire, you is going to be uh, very complicated to put the wire from these things. You have to release these hooks, right? But once you release, all these coils just like spread around. That's why you have to make certain device or like I call it cassette that you can put it in a cassette and use this wire that is not just like uh, spread around. Uh, in this case, uh, we, uh, it came uh, to me just obviously that I have to build some special tool. Beside this, uh, we got a different types of wire. This is MAPES International. It's a very nice wire. Uh, we have a very slow wire. That's how they came. That's the same thing. Uh, and we have, of course, it's, they don't distribute them in the United States. And it's a very nice wire. It's a Suzuki wire. Yeah, you see, all of them, in order to stay in this position, they have these three hooks. And uh, in order to use them, we need a special cassette. And as you see, Suzuki wire, it's a different shape. It means uh, you need some uh, cassette, otherwise 
you not be able to use this wire because it's not going to stay in this position. Anyway, uh, they got a different diameters inside. That's why when I start to build uh, my first tool, I uh, use a Roslo wire. That's why I built the cassette exactly for uh, a Roslo wire. And I want to show you the first cabinet uh, that I built. As you see, it's a, it's a pretty big uh, cabinet. It's on the wheels and uh, the front panel that you can open it like that. And uh, we, uh, actually, this is a, uh, it's a back side of the cabinet. Let me roll it. As you see, it's easy to roll it. When you want to move it uh, in the place that you're working, you can just like easy to move it. Okay, this is compartment for cassettes. Let me show you. I open it, and of course you have to carry this panel somewhere. Uh, when you work, you carry it, whatever you just like find the place, you, you put it by some whatever, piano or on the piano, on the table. Like each cassette, uh, it's from the plywood, it's three quarters, and uh, uh, these uh, wires, it just goes around the posts, and then just like you lock it, like this on the screws. Uh, here I built some adjustable post, that in case if a uh, cassette not uh, uh, solid, you can adjust it. In the middle, you see the hole. Uh, why uh, you need this cassette? Because once you uh, rotate it, then you can uh, get the wire out. And uh, as, uh, as you see, uh, here just like we, we have to build some uh, table, rotating table, that you uh, kind of lock it in order to stop it, because otherwise it's gonna continue. And you can put it, cassette, on this thing. And if you take the wire from here and put it through this uh, hole like that, you can you can distribute. Now this is a lock. Now you can use this lock distribute. Yeah, this was a very helpful tool right away. Uh, storage everything and. Uh, uh, basically, it worked excellent. It will always be special because it's first. So yeah, that's why I keep it. This is course. where it all began. This kind yeah, of yeah. look and feel. Yeah, I never show uh, this tool. Uh, it, I don't use it now, but uh, it's a very just like sentimental thing. That was the first, and of course, as you see, it was a small compartment for for your tool. You can put the tool or whatever pins and extra wires, like that. Uh, uh, after a while, uh, just like uh, you always want to just improve, and uh, uh, I figure out that it's a little bit bulky. It's a little bit just too uh, high, a little bit like this. That's why I uh, figure out that to make another one. Uh, beside this, uh, I'm a little bit just uh, didn't like the vertical position of the cassette. You kind of have to uh, be just like always watch it, how you put it inside. That's why on my next one, I uh, figure out that uh, I do the horizontal position of the cassette. And uh, I show you that's the most actual uh, second one. As you see, this similar thing is a uh, cabinet. It's a front panel, inside it's a storage for the cassettes, and the, the rotating table. I, sometimes I call it carousel. It means you can just like rotate it. And uh, as you see here, the table rotated more smooth. It means I'm, I built a little bit uh, different uh, design of uh, uh, stopping it, uh, just the friction-wise. It's uh, um, uh, working more smooth. And uh, actually, a lock of the string, I built it a little bit easy. Here I put a wire like uh, before for the single coils. Now, 
I can show you how uh, this cabinet works. And the same thing, you have to carry the panel somewhere. Uh, let's say I put it back to, to the, the first one. As you see, it's uh, the same thing. It's uh, uh, 18 cassettes. I build them similar way, a little bit more uh, just uh, efficient. And uh, they, same way, you see, it's a six post, one adjustable and two pieces of wood that hold it. Yeah, same, it's from plywood and uh, you just like slide it like this. It's, it's a little bit easy. And of course, the, uh, the table that you rotated here, it's just the uh, same thing, just like you put it here. And it's just, you see, it stay. Again, you just uh, take the wire out and put it to this distributing things and uh, it uh, it's works perfect like that. Uh, after a while, uh, I uh, figure out to uh, make another one uh, because I, I want to just like make it more portable. And uh, one uh, very important thing that I uh, figure out, and some technician even asked me, is it possible to make this uh, stringing station used at home or somewhere on other places? And uh, I just uh, uh, figure out that I can make it uh, separate, uh, just from two pieces, uh, and uh, uh, use different materials instead of a wood, I try to use uh, aluminum, of course wood, uh, same thing, aluminum and plan, uh, acrylic. And uh, uh, that was my third cabinet. As you see, I, uh, of course I gained already experience uh, of all these uh, carousels, how to distribute the wire. And uh, this already uh, stringing station uh, built from two cabinets. As you see, I can show you. I, I, you can you can separate them. You see, you can lift them. Uh, unfortunately, unfortunately, they still heavy. Of course, it's still two people have to uh, handle these things as they want to move it. But it's already possible because single cabinet is very hard. And uh, as you see. It's a, it's a different materials. It's aluminum and acrylic. Uh, in this case, I'm already used two cabinets. That's why my panels is smaller. I can open the top panel. And what I did on the back of the cabinet, I can, I can put my panel on the back of the cabinet, like this, like this. Uh, you might uh, not consider it's very important, but in reality, when it's everything tight in a, in a shop, it's very, very just helpful. You put your uh, panels back on your cabinet and uh, you can move the cabinet and don't worry about the front panels. And as you see, the cassettes are already made from acrylic, as you see, uh, it's uh, slim. And I use aluminum and the posts. Uh, uh, it is designed, of course, more slimmer, like that. Is there a reason why you selected acrylic for for this cassette versus wood? Yeah, definitely, because acrylic is uh, create a very nice surface and uh, slim uh, and very strong. Mm -hmm. uh, of course, it has to be, in this case, it's what, it's probably, it's a 316. Yeah, 316 size because you cannot use a very small and uh, as you see just like it's right away you get you get besides that you got your cabinet smaller you have the compartments for your tool and some other stuff it means you dramatically decrease the size of your cabinet uh, so what, your work and the way you operate becomes very organized and efficient and you save a lot of time during the process of restringing the piano. Yeah, you can calculate like almost twice mm. you, you save. 
beside this is a very comfortable of course to work you place the cabinet behind you and just excellent it works perfect uh, as you see uh, the, the development of the uh, rotating table as you see how it works it's got already different type of uh, stopping it when you pull uh, your string with let me show you you need to stop it and uh, of course that's another thing how uh, I put the cassette instead of just putting on the pin I just slide it like this right and it's locked on this ball bearing now I can release the string and lock it here. And as you see it, now you can distribute it. It goes very smooth. Like that, right? It just goes like, like that. And uh, uh, as you see here, this is, uh, it stops it, you see, fast. That's why you don't worry about that your wire uh, can just uh, go somewhere and just like be loose. Uh, then when you got uh, extra wire, you just rotate it like this and put the wire back to your cassette like that, you see? And you can lock it on the post like that. And uh, you see, it's easy to lift it and slide it here. Each cassette got a handle here that easy to pull them out. And of course, I show you the same uh, cassettes here. Uh, uh, you have the, uh, here just the storage for your, uh, for your wires, or you put the pins here. And like I show you, you got uh, storage for your pin. Yeah, this cabinet was excellent, but um, I uh, still just wanna um, uh, create more uh, sufficient and uh, uh, that's why uh, I, it took me probably a, a month to build one. Uh, I built the last model. The first of all, as you notice, all these three cabinets, they got open uh, distributing table and the uh, hook, uh, I mean, just the, where you uh, restrain the string, where you just hold it. It means uh, in the shop, it covers with the dust. Uh, of, of course, you protect your uh, wires uh, from the dust, but this still open, and you can put a blanket, of course. Uh, that's why my next one, uh, actually, that's the last one. I'm already uh, built with uh, all this distributing table with a single loop device and the holders uh, in, uh, in the, uh, with the cover. And I use, of course, uh, acrylic, as you see. Uh, another thing, I made my uh, tool on, uh, on, the, on a very comfortable height uh, instead of this one. You remember, it was low. It's okay, but uh, that's certain things that you have to consider when you build one. Uh, as you see, there's two of them, one for the stringing guide and uh, another one for a general tool that you use uh, for stringing. Uh, we can talk about this uh, too because it's a special hammer and uh, other stuff. But anyway, that's a very important. Besides this one, your uh, uh, now it's no more panel. It's the doors. The only thing that the doors has to be 270 degrees. They go like this. That's why you have to build your own hinges. And uh, I did it. And now you see, I open, I open my doors, and it's ready ready for work. Uh, that's uh, give you a little bit more comfortable thing. And the top, of course, you see, it's it got like, you can open it and lock it. It stay. Um, this uh, cabinet was designed for Suzuki wire for eight pounds coils. What it means? It means when you rotate your table, you pull the wire, you got more inertia. That's why the stoppers, the friction, and uh, uh, count uh, um, inertia stoppers. It means I design, as you see it's here, you see the stoppers work not only on the friction, they work and they just 
eat the energy uh, when it's ready. Look how it's fast stopping. So it doesn't allow it to spin out of control. Yes. It controls the how you spin the wire. Right, right. So you are in control. Yes. And that is yes. important as you do the work on the piano. Yeah, it's very important. And you see it's adjustable. You still have springs here. They You can control it. Uh, and uh, uh, another thing that uh, is not maybe so critical, but it's very important. Let's say if you, uh, on my uh, third uh, cabinet, if you put a cassette here and slide it, you have to control it like this. If you're a little bit on the angle, it might lock like this, you see? And uh, you, you, it's not a big deal because you, you can control it and you can slide it like this. But if you're a little bit off, it just might bother you like this, right? And then, uh, in order to uh, rid of these things, I may just uh, this uh, the side that moves here. And uh, uh, I show you later on when I slide the cassette, uh, you can just already put it on the angle and it works okay. Uh, but uh, let's uh, show you the actually the cassette, like let's say, uh, you see the number 15 and a half. Let's say we use 15 and a half. You see here is all the numbers. Uh, you slide it, it's a similar. Actually, I have to uh, tell you that you can use both cassettes. I can use this cassette here on this table. You see, I can use it on this table and I can use the black uh, cassettes on this table. That was very important, just like to, uh, to be compatible. Uh, and this cassette, you see, it's got three posts adjustable. What it means, I can use uh, any wires on this cassette. Uh, but here, as you see, it's Suzuki. You see how high it is. That's why you need the cassette here to not to disturb it. Now, you see, I can put it a little bit on the side, you see, and it still goes. It's very important. Then, of course, uh, the the actual holder for the string. You just uh, pull it and it stay. Then you release it. It's very important. Then the position of this uh, holder. You can change the position. You see, it's here, and it's easy to lock like this. I lock it, and let's say I want to position it here. When you change to different position, what does it give you? What benefit does it have for changing to different position? Oh, no, it's just... For uh, convenience? For convenience, uh, the direction of the wire. Okay. And, uh, yes, and no, if you want to, you can put it a little bit here, just close. It depends it's how close. close you are to the piano, because all, mm -hmm. all the instruments can have different distance between the this uh, unit as you work on it. You just adjust it as whatever is convenient for you. Right, basically. right. It's always better to do some mm -hmm. uh, adjustable positions like even you see on the cover I can adjust it in this position mm -hmm. or whatever it's just like maybe matter you, of you, preference yeah preference mm -hmm. like this and you see in this case uh, it's open now I can take my wire out and put it and lock it uh, now it's not going anywhere uh, beside this as you see uh, it moves when I change direction it's, it's very important too not to uh, damage the wire. It's a self-adjusted to this direction. And I can pull it. And as you see, how the carousel works. And when I stop it, it's, it's... What's interesting about this particular tool is that you don't bend the piano wire, which is so important. Right, right. You keep it as it initially is supposed to be when you try to install it on, on the on the actual piano. Yeah, it's. Uh, I show you one more uh, feature here. Uh, let's say if you got extra wire, right? Mm -hmm. And of course, if I if I lose it like this, then I have to, in order to get to the end, I have to follow it, right? Mm -hmm. All this time. That's why some, it's very convenient if you get a holder. And this is small unit, it's a holder for the wire. Mm -hmm. You see, it's, uh, you just put it from the top like this. 
and that did not exist on your previous models. No, right. That's a, that's a new one. Mm -hmm. And uh, of course, I I built here the single loop uh, jig that uh, make me single loop. I want to show you how it is. But let's say I, I I get the extra wire. Right? I get extra wire like this. Got it. Put my wire here and. Let me see uh, how this unit works. Release. I pull it out. Like this. Lock it. This arm goes on the side. Like this. And it's a two stages. You see, first of all, I make the turn. Like this. To make the first one, right? Like this. And then I place it here. Place it here and here, like that, right? Lock it, and you just hold it and you rotate it. One, two, three, down. And as you see, the single loop, that's it. Of course, you can cut it here, cut here, and that's a single loop. It's amazing how fast you're able to achieve this particular task, you know, as actually making these loops. In the previous models, there was a different approach to it. Yeah, so yeah. this tool, even more advanced versus, you know, previous models, it just really makes a big difference. And of course, it cuts down the time as you work. And not only that, makes... Yeah makes it very consistent type of process. Yeah, and I want to tell you, uh, we work uh, a lot of, on the pia different pianos. On the Stanways, of course, it's, sometimes it's one or two single loops, but let's say if you work on Bersendorf or Bludner, then you have to make uh, hundreds, over 200 sometimes. That's why, and that's very important for these purposes. That's why these become kind of universal station for different brands uh, and uh, um, it's very comfortable. And another thing I want to show you, how long it takes me to, uh, to put it back to the normal. As you see, I got extra wire. I can uh, rotate this wire back on my facade, right? like this, as you see. I get, be careful, of course, hold it. And then, just bend it around and I take it out, slide it back on the place. This has to be just. Okay, I'm gonna put it back. Like that. I will work here. Put it back in the position. Lock it, and you see this already just like we finish, then you put the doors back, and that's it. And you can roll it uh, to the safe place. Uh, what else about this uh, tool? Of course, we got three places for storage on the bottom. And another feature that you can use it. Inside this cabinet, I installed the heating element. As you see, uh, you can put uh, 110 here with a cord extension cord and uh, inside uh, this cabinet is going to be like temperature around like 86 or maybe a little bit less but it's going to control uh, your wires for suzuki uh, wire it's not maybe necessary because uh, uh, suzuki wire is rust protected what it means is just they put a coat on the wire that's why you can hold it keep it storage in uh, other places in a wet environment, but for uh, MAPES International and Rosso, that's going to work perfect. Uh, that's uh, uh, what I want to, uh, why I want to show it, because I, I know that many people are going to build uh, the tool like this for themselves, and I hope it's helped them, helped them at least to know what kind of features they can uh, put inside this uh, st stringing station. And um, uh, I think uh, that it's possible even go further 
on these tools, uh, especially if you work with tools like this, you might notice some things. Uh, for now on, I, uh, I might uh, have some idea how to uh, develop this tool, and I'm, I might do it uh, later on. But beside this, the, this particular tool, already very, very close to the perfect tool for these uh, purposes. I think we have really seen a great leap in advancement by looking at all of your um, restringing devices and how far the final model has come mm. and how much this really improves the process of piano rebuilding. It increases productivity, cuts down time in 50% or more. It, it, it is pleasure to work on. Yeah, it is so. just your best friend, you know, and it's something that I think makes your work enjoyable. And this is what you have actually been talking about all of this time. And this is one of the pure examples of how you really achieved to make your work and your profession enjoyable doing what you're doing and making not only great pianos, right. but just actually doing the, the process, making the process so interesting and, and enjoyable for yourself. Yeah, absolutely. I think that uh, um, restoration is particular needs uh, this type of tool since it's enormous time you have to uh, put in order to achieve your goal. And uh, of course, it's a lot of blind uh, spots yet that we have to develop. And uh, of course, uh, it's always good uh, that we bring a lot of attention on, uh, on the whole concept of creating the tool. I'm so glad that uh, people built already once and I'm looking forward to see, because people got their just brilliant minds and they develop some unique stuff. Uh, let's just work together and develop uh, restoration, bring it on the highest level. And uh, thanks for joining us. It's my pleasure was to tell you about this development. Thank you and we'll see you next time.